So we just heard about you talking about technology. So for uh, engineering and commerce students, uh, what type of technologies do you think they should learn? If the, suppose the student is joining engineering this year, looking at the future, the student should learn about the big data, data analytics. Yes, learn about the security like cyber security, information security. Yes, to learn about uh, automation like artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning such that. Students has to know also know about blockchain technology, business analytics. Learn should, should also know about embedded systems and also about the Android app developers. So anything related to automation, anything related to data, anything related to creativity skills are going to play a very great role because learning only by this technology is going to help him quite a bit because what he is going what he is going to study in the next four years is already outdated only the knowledge which is, is which is learned in the last in the next four years are not going to help him much that's why i keep telling in my videos that only your degree and marks are not going to fetch you a job the skills you are going to learn the next four years is going to fetch you a job so now, now that you've uh, spoken about all of these technologies, how do you think these students should learn? Yes, that's a big question. It's the, because today the most key part of the uh, students is they have to self-learn by themselves. You cannot expect the institution or teachers or somebody coaching center to teach you all the skills. Learning by, by yourself is going to play a huge role. You can either learn through YouTube uh, channels or you can, through portals, there are online portals are available like Coursera, Udacity, UDMI. There are like uh, YouTube channels which says Code Academy. There's so many it's a, the ways of learning it, by self-learning it. You can even learn through different blogs. Like for example, Google, I mean, Geeks for Geeks, I mean, blogs are there. You can really update. There are a lot of mobile apps you can learn about coding like Grasshopper or Solo Learn. There's so many things are there. So self-learning. So it, a student should really spend a lot of time after his college hours to learn by themselves through uh, through online or through uh, the, the blogs or YouTube channels only is going to help him quite a bit. Only learning from the college from morning 9 to 4 is going to fetch him only the degree. If he really needs uh, a job in a top industries, then he has to learn quite a bit after his uh, is college of us. So everything is going to be a self-learning process only. Okay, so now that you've spoken about how these students should update, do you think this will have an impact in future job recruitment? Yes, definitely. That's why the slowly the campus placement is slowly moving away in these days. Whether you are commerce students or science or engineering students, now most of the companies are now launching online competitions, online challenges, online uh, uh, the contest for to, to make students to expose their skills, what they have learned beyond syllabus. For example, right now even Amazon announced an open coding challenge for the entire Indian student community. If you see the package is almost 28.5 lakhs per annum. So the, anybody can participate, like it's not necessary that you should only have engineering degree or this degree. You have the skills what Amazon expects, they, they, are, going to, uh, they are going to give you a job. So it's going to be, most of the companies are going to come. Like for example, TC is coming with Ninja, Wipro is coming, there are a lot of hackathons. There are even the common, common uh, for, uh, platforms like Hacker Rank, Hacker Rank, they are conducting things. Now Code Gladiators has been, uh, been announced. So all this, if, if the students has to participate, then you should have knowledge beyond the syllabus and knowledge, tremendous knowledge about the upcoming technologies and also very good coding skills. Then only you can definitely participate and expose the skills so that the big companies can recruit them. Okay, thank you. That was such a valuable information. So if you do have any questions, please post it in the comments and we'll be happy to do our next session. Thank you.